Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to discuss how to find an equilibrium in a heads-up tree. I will be doing so by demonstrating this approach on the tree that is on the screen right now. In this tree we have small blind versus big blind and at each decision point each player is forced to choose between raising and folding. Now one key function in the software that we'll need for finding an equilibrium is the max exploit tool. This tool will figure out the absolute optimal way to exploit the weaknesses in an opponent's strategy. For example, let's say that we'll let small blind raise with the top 25% of hands here. And in case big blind 3 bets, he'll push with the top 12% of hands. If we now press the max exploit icon and select big blind, then the software has just figured out the absolute best way to counter small blinds strategy. No improvement of this counter strategy exists. It's just mathematically impossible. Now, when trying to find an equilibrium, the first approach most people usually try is to alternate between the two players being optimal. So first they'll let big blind be optimal, and then small blind, and then big blind again, and so on, in the hopes that this will end up in an equilibrium. Now I can tell you that this approach will not work. This approach will actually result in the software switching back and forth between two extreme strategies. However, you will never reach an equilibrium. The correct approach in finding an equilibrium is to define one of the players as being optimal, and you can use the max exploit tool for that. Then you form a hypothesis of what the equilibrium would look like. And then you try out many, many, many configurations of this hypothesis. And you can do so using a script. When you're done, you pick the configuration with the highest EV that you came across. Now if, for example, we look at R3 here, then my hypothesis would be that small blind should be raising his strongest hands and folding his weakest ones. It's a simple plan, but I don't see it failing. Now that we have our hypothesis, all that remains is to try out many, many different variations of top percentages and see which performs best. So let's first start by doing this manually for a bit. Let's just start with all hands for all of small blind ranges. And we'll let big blind react optimally. Okay, so the EV for this strategy versus an optimal player would be exactly minus one dollar. That's pretty bad. Okay, let's try another configuration. Let's try raising the top 25% of hands. And in case we get 3 bet, we 4 bet the top 12% of hands. And we'll let big blind react optimally again. Okay, so that configuration performs a bit better at $1.22. Let's try the top 30%. And for betting the top 15%. And again, the max exploit tool. Okay, that's even a bit better at $1.40. And well, basically that's all there is to it. Just keep trying and experimenting with ranges until you can't improve anymore. And whatever solution you arrived at with the highest EV is the closest one to the equilibrium. Now it's of course pretty exhausting to do all of this by hand. And there's no guarantee that you haven't missed a better solution. I'd like our chances a lot better if we instead use the script to go over all possible configurations. For that, we'd vary small blinds open raising frequency from 0% to 100%, and we'd vary the forebetting frequency from 0% to whatever value the open raising frequency was. This should give us a table that shows us the EV for every combination of open raising and forebetting. And I've used intervals of 5% between the frequencies here. So at the end of trying all these different configurations, all we need to do now is pick the best one. 
let's say that at open raising the top 30% and forward betting the top 15%, the EV is the highest. And after we know that, we're basically done. We'll just load the best performing tree back to the screen and that will be it. Or if we want a bit more accuracy, we may want to repeat the process with smaller steps in the general area around our solution. Whichever configuration we end up with that has the highest EV should be very, very close to the equilibrium. Provided of course that our hypothesis was correct. Ok, that wraps it up for this video. In the next video I'll demonstrate this process by writing the script that searches for the equilibrium solution for this tree.